In Kenya, the youth are our future. Kenya is a country full of talent and plenty of dreams. Out of a population of 40 million, nearly half are youth and nearly one third are in the 14-21 age range. These faces will be the future workforce and the future leaders who will take Kenya to new heights. The possibilities are limitless. I believe that Africa is a place that has a lot of potential. But because most people in Africa do not believe in themselves, they are like people who bathe with saliva at the banks of overflowing rivers. The youth are really the future and there's so much talent. What don't we have that cannot put us there? However, we still have to connect the dots. Despite the drive, initiative, creativity and dream of our people, Kenya, like the rest of Africa, faces very real challenges. The most important thing that all the problems that Africa are facing is the field. And uh, you know very well that the, the laws of the game, the first law of the game is the field. Two, we have a lot of problems with our, 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 our officials. Um, how they manage our teams is not the best way. To connect the dots, we started with a football tournament. This was not just any tournament. Our tournament, the CCX football tournament, was unique. We were all about promoting youth who are good both on the pitch and off the pitch. CCX is an edutainment platform which is the crossroads of education and entertainment. So what we do is we work with youth from disadvantaged areas and we use the power of sports and the power of media to link them with educational incentives and job opportunities. As a bank we want to show our children who are in the slum areas that it is possible to become somebody in this country. We engage the youth in sports. This way it helps them in mentorship. We keep them busy and also we discover their talents. We invited 10 teams of youth in the under 21 age group, both male and female, to compete at the Starehe Boys Center in Nairobi. The teams came from disadvantaged areas of Greater Nairobi. Prepared to win this game because I believe uh, we are psychologically prepared, uh, tac tactically, technically, we also sound. Uh, we, are, we have the right uh, physique and mindset for the game, and uh, we hope to make a point because mostly people, teams for Kibera, don't uh, people don't take them seriously. But we've come and we've beaten some of the best teams in this country, so. We are out to show the world that we are from one of the biggest slums in this country, but we still can do it. From, that we are from a slum is not uh, a hindrance for your achievement, either as an individual a player or as a, and a team as a whole, because it starts as a player. Do your part as a player, then if everyone is pulling together towards the same direction, we will achieve as a team. Football was chosen to help connect the dots, because a lot of important life lessons are learnt on the pitch. Football is one type of university where one can learn such skills as teamwork, mastery of technical skills, communication, strategy and resilience. And we see sports as an excellent entry point. It's entertainment. It's the language of every day. Um, we have fun with it. What we're trying to do is add educational components to it. Sports has a, a big role in the society and it can act as a, a path to transform the society. Football brings people together. That's what I believe. You know, if you ask me, these kids who are on the pitch now, what tribes they are, they won't even tell me. The biggest disease uh, uh, that mostly we have with our youth today is idols. The boys are on the pitch playing football. So if they leave this ground, they will go home when they are tired. Don't think they will go into dirty things to go and see and do what bad things. The qualities of a winning outfit is just like when you want to build a house. 
Of course, you must start the foundation, then you put walls, and then you put the roofing. It must be a teamwork. Then you can be able to win matches. You know, if you play together, you know each other very well, and obviously you have got that combination. And then winning is the matter of just scoring goals into the net, and you are you are there. At the same time, in order to connect more dots, the tournament went beyond football. It introduced the CCX scoreboard. With our tournament, we introduced a very unique feature. It's the CCX scoreboard. And what it is, is it aligns with the value systems we believe in, uh, building out role models and also uh, identifying the all-rounders. So with the scoreboard, what it is, is we took the crossroads of text messaging on mobile phones and surveying. And we went into the communities where the players came from and asked their friends and families to rate the players. They were to rate their players on the performance on the pitch as well as off the pitch. So they had to know the player's ability on the pitch as footballers and also their community service skills such as picking up the trash, taking care of their grandparents. Uh, and then we also grabbed the grades and with that came up with composite scores which yielded a community favorite as well as a fan favorite. And with that, we lifted up the profiles of young stars within the community who also gave incentives for their younger brother and sister. The scoreboard is uh, one modern technology system of rating players, both boys and girls, men and women. And we are looking at all-rounders, good on and off the field, well behaved and people who are good in community participation and teamwork. So for them, I believe we have good citizens. We had a huge aha moment when we piloted this and it came primarily from the coaches and the players themselves. So with the coaches, when they tested the scoreboard, their eyes lit up and they found out that this was the first time that they were looking at their players beyond the pitch. And so they were starting to think about other issues and challenges and how they can also better take care of their players. There are quite a lot of things that a coach must have in his mindset. Uh, first and foremost, it has to be discipline. He has to discipline himself. There are requirements of a coach. You must be able also, not only coaching, you also have to be a teacher. You also have to be as a, a parent. That's why I'm telling you, all of us we have a responsibility on that pitch. So take your responsibility. The other aha was the players themselves realizing how interesting and fun it was to think about their school a little bit more. So in all, we really enjoyed having the scoreboard as a fun tool to incentivize the well-rounder in education. From our scoreboard surveys, we found out just how talented and ambitious our youth are. Our survey of all the players revealed that their career aspirations were incredibly diverse and promising. I see myself playing in a, in a good team, yeah. maybe across Kenya in Europe. Uh, career, I want to do computer science. I want to do computer science. There is a children's home there, so we go there and spend the time with those children so that they cannot feel lonely. To reach these dreams, our youth need to be serious about their education. The youth need support to fulfill their dreams. They need encouragement, hope, and role models to shine the way. We believe in um, our talents, and we believe that we have the equal opportunity and the equal responsibility to take care of our talents and take them as far as we can. And I believe that's the same thing that can happen here in Kenya. I see so much potential, and sometimes there's just a little bit of a need for inspirational words and a little bit of practical access, but there's so much here that can be tapped. This is the backbone of our, 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 our soccer in this country. If we had more tournaments like this ones, I would really appreciate it. So we're excited to expand our efforts with our CCX tournaments. And this is due to 
uh, demand by fans and, and friends alike. We, going forward, we will be emphasizing our educational theme even more. We will continue with the CCX scoreboard, which brings out the well-rounder, as well as role models, but we will even further underscore education. As an example, a theme that we will be pushing going forward is along the lines of playing for your school. Uh, what we plan to do is have teams uh, select within their community a school or educational institution that they would like to support and fight for in the tournament. And the winning team will receive an educational prize package. And subject to the support of various corporate sponsors, that educational prize package could comprise of books for, say, a library, um, commute, computer supplies, uh, perhaps teacher training or principal training, whatever the imagination allows. And in this way, we think that we'll be creating an ecosystem whereby, with the CCX scoreboard and the Play For Your School theme, effectively the community will be supporting the player, the player will support the community, and together they will collectively rise up. I believe the theme is also good to make a young person believe in their potential, to believe in their inward strength, and to believe that every human being is trustworthy and is capable of making changes that can bring uh, good results in the society. We believe in the future of Kenya. Let's bring out the talent both on and off the pitch. Let's uplift our schools and while we are at it, let's have fun.